Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another Gunpla review and today I'm taking a look at this ride here and this is the high grade Yugo or Hugo from Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Now let's check it out. So there it is out of the box, straight built with a little bit of panel landing and so far all I can say is this thing isn't great. All in all, every aspect, it's just not great. Usually I love these IBO kits but this one right here, I'm not loving it. Straight away, it just looks like a discount Salahanthropos from Metal Gear Solid 5. Like seriously, I mean, that head and the reverse joint limbs, I think there's a little bit more than inspiration right here. I have a feeling that the person who designed this at Bandai or Sunrise is a bit of a Kojima fan because I'm seeing a completely Jehuti color scheme right there. So basically, this thing right here looks like a frame arms cosplaying a Salahanthropos with the Jehuti color scheme. All in all, I'm really not digging the design. The head here, as you can see, if you move that part up there, is all also part of the torso armor which could be an okay design in concept except if you look in there you've got a little tiny head poking out like it's wearing a kind of bucket on its head moving down then to the legs from behind you can see that they are reverse jointed that the knee joints go the reverse way back there kind of like an animal's legs but from the side or the front you can't see any of that and they just kind of look weird but all in all that's probably enough about me giving out about the design itself but how about the model kit well for the most part it is fine besides this massive sheet of stickers. Sure, the Barbatos Lupus did come with a big sheet of stickers as well, but they weren't as horrible as what you get here. For the most part, they're not the worst besides these four right here. One, two, three, four. These are horrible, and these are the ones that go on here. These stickers are probably the worst I have ever seen. These two right here are fine, I'm glad I had four chances, but flip it around to the back, pull off these swords, and you can see right there the kind of mess you can get into really easily. I've had a lot of experience sticking on these kind of stickers, just these ones were horrible. And finally, the last thing I'll mention is Bandai has never had the best track record with dark navy blue plastic that doesn't scuff. I can remember back to my days of making the mass great death side that they have been horrible and they still are just like they are right here so as for accessories there it is with everything that it comes with and what we've got in here is the machine gun the scimitar and one thing I will mention right here and I noticed this when I was building it is that the handles of these are circular or should I say cylindrical and the hands themselves have a kind of a square hole so that means sometimes and a lot of the times when I was trying to play around with it these will just rotate like this they're just flop. Like they've been really, really badly designed. So you can't get any decent poses at all. If you remember the Barbatus' mace, it has those little square parts along the length so you can kind of fit them into the hand. Yeah, nothing here. They just flail around like that. So far, as you can see, this is a pretty crappy high grade. Last up then are these wires for using with the shot anchor claws which are in here. Yeah in there. And what this reminds me of is the Rosen Zulu. This is really floppy and not very strong at all. So basically these shot anchors are housed in here. Let's see if I can get that out. There it is attached onto the inside. So basically you slide this section here to the front something like that. Open it up like so. This little piece of wire then attaches into this little hole here. And and that should attach onto the back of this in that hole there. Kind of like that. Oh, that, that wasn't so awesome. Hold on. Maybe you can move that around. Try and hold that up somehow. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that's a bit floppy. Yeah, that flopped down again. Oh man, I don't know if you can make this hold up. This is a really weak bit of wire. Maybe something like that. I don't know, man. That really doesn't seem to be working out at all. Maybe something like that. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, it's starting to flop down. It hasn't dropped completely, but can we get a full extend on that? Absolutely not a hope. And last up then for accessories is this little section here, and this is a base adapter. I don't know why it needs a base adapter. It does not have the same nine millimeter hole, I guess to keep it away from this little section that extends from here. But anyway, that is enough for the review. I am not wasting my time with this trying to get into some poses. I'm not even going to do the articulation. Basically, this moves around okay. You've got this part that flops out here, and that makes a kind of claw thing and all that. But a lot of the stuff like these shoulders, they just like bang off the head all the time don't really bend around so well when you stick these on the back then where you can store them that gets in the way of the shoulders even more and the head can't even move around so much because of this whole bucket kind of thing basically I'm too tired to fuck around with this thing I would give this a miss personally if I were you it does look kind of cool I can't deny that it's definitely very unique looking for a Gundam but as a kid it's just not that great not that great at all but anyway as always thank you for watching and I'll see you next time